this example, we're going to use various rules from what we see in a table. The, they are derivative rule, or we call rules of differentiation to find the derivative. Our goal is to find the derivative. If we have the function f of x, that means we're going to find f prime. If we see the y, that means we're going to find y prime. So f prime or y prime are notation for the derivative of the function. You just put the, the prime or the dash on the upper right corner. That becomes the uh, representation for the derivative of the function. Okay. For the first one, the function f of x equals negative 3. So this is a constant function. And for the constant function, think about the behavior of the graph. This is a horizontal line. For the horizontal line, the slope is zero. And again, the slope is the derivative. That means for part A, the derivative is zero. Okay. For the next one, the f of x equals 6x. For 6x, this is the same form as the form of the line y equals mx plus b. And we know that m is the y prime. In our case, part B, the m is 6, so we can say f prime or the derivative of f of x equals 6. Part C, the f of x is 1 over 4 multiplied by x to the power 2 thirds. This is the combination of the constant multiple and the power. <clears throat> I'm going to write this as 1 over 4 as a coefficient and then multiply by x to the power 2 thirds. I put a note on the side, my power. <clears throat> Either use a notation P or notation R. I believe on the table, we use a notation R to represent the, the, uh, the power. So our case for part C, <clears throat> R is 2 over 3. To find the derivative for the constant multiple, the constant term remain as it is. What you work on is the derivative of the, the power form. And the power two thirds becomes a coefficient of the derivative. The new power that is from original subtracted by one. Okay. Simplify one over four and two over three. Two and four reduce. It becomes one times one for the numerator. Two times three becomes six for the denominator. And the new power from two over three minus one. One means three over three and simplify the algebra, we should get negative one over three. That is your new power. And this is the derivative of the function f or the f prime for part c. And uh, sometimes the Hawks learning homework will ask you to write as the positive power. When you have negative power, you can write as a reciprocal and change the sign from negative to positive and clean up to look to make it look nicer, to have one over six times x to the power one third, where the quantity six and x term will be in a denominator term. Okay, and one uh, x to the power one third is the same as the third root of the x. I put here or or okay. 